What's up guys, when you get here, say hello in the comment. I threw the Spotify playlist, it's in the comments, so you can check the messages, click on that, get that ready on your phone or whatever device that you're gonna play alongside with. What's up, Bree? Uh, we'll just wait a couple more minutes. Maybe just a minute, because if you snooze, you lose. What's up, Zach V? Zach from Des Moines, I love it. Another Bree, Teresa, Amy, how are you guys? Good morning. It's a cloudy one, a little bit of fog here. Betty Weeks and Karen, hello. All right, and again, if you just got on, I threw the playlist in the Spotify, I mean the Spotify playlist in the Power Life comments on the right, you'll see Power Life and then the link to the Spotify playlist, you can get it. Switched it up from last week, so feel free to use last week's. I really liked that one. What's up, Blake? Oh, man, I'm right there with you. He said, hope the hanging plant survives class today. <laughs> yeah, that was, uh, that was a nice one. See, the, the funny thing is, I don't know if you can see it, but it's kind of like a concrete pot, so it would have been quite the commotion. Uh, Rachel Harada, we're ready with you. All right, I feel like we've let kind of two minutes go in. It's 8.31. Let's just do the thing. My name is Stefan Hoffman. This is Corbin. He's a fellow Power of Life student teacher, and I'm lucky enough to uh, call him roommate. And so we return our, our living room and our loft to a yoga studio for the third week in a row. So let's do this. We'll start in child's pose today. Just come onto your mat. Make this comfortable for you. You can take it with your knees out wide, which I kind of um, recommend for this class. Just kind of get the outer hips. Good morning, Power Life. Going, just sink your hips back toward your heels. Another option is your thighs, inner thighs together directly beneath your torso, but you can just play around with your hands for a little bit. You can keep palms facing down. Or you can find an external rotation through your arms as your palms face up, pinkies towards one another, just options here. Wherever you're at, let's move from the place that you're at to a little more intentional mindset. You take a full breath and inhale. Open mouth, exhale. Deep breath in. And let it go. If you haven't already, start the playlist. And just begin to most importantly notice your breath. Hi, Michelle. And to just acknowledge your body, the sensations in your outer hips. Notice if your jaw is clenched and see if you can soften it just a little bit. Today we will move from point A to point B, but it's not just from one position or mindset to the next. We're going to acknowledge the space in between and move intentionally, understanding that a lot of these postures that we'll visit in the first portion and throughout class are, are building up to something else. We're right here. We can understand where our body is at. But we're going to try to work through these postures. You're going to implement a lot of um, just knowledge that your body is giving you feedback, implement it into the postures. And we'll work towards something greater. Deep breath in. And out. Slow it down just a little bit. Inhale for three, two, one. Notice the pause in between. And exhale for three, two, one. Inhale for three, two, one. And exhale for three, two, one. Inhale, tabletop. As you exhale, press your fingertips firmly into your mat. Inhale, cow pose. Pull your chest through your arms. Exhale, cat pose, chin to chest. Inhale, cow. Feel your tailbone tip high. Exhale, cat pose. If you find an internal rotation, the back it gives you, just begin to move naturally and organically. You can Move a little bit side to side. Snake through your spine. Dip one shoulder and then the next. 
What's up, Reggie? Let's do this. Let's do this. Reggie wishes everyone a great practice, which is bound to happen, but a lot of it's going to be up to you. In this class, I want you to really understand your body, to listen to kind of the sensations and see how you can best suit them. You'll notice a couple different things that Corbin is doing. And if you've never tried them, you can try them on, but first and foremost, I ask that you just listen to your body. You close your eyes and just begin to feel and notice the different sensations. And your next inhale, whenever it is, no rush, find tabletop position. Exhale, downward facing dog. You breathe. Do you take the time to get there? You can invite stillness into your breath, practice moving to a place of trust, understanding your breath, this posture, the alignment will do most of all that is necessary, but you can also just really make it yours. Again, feeling the feedback in your body, understanding how your hips, your shoulders, your hamstrings feel. But I really want you to understand the engagement in your core here as you soften your eyes and your jaw. Take just a couple more breaths. Exhale, keep even weight through both hands. Inhale, lift your right leg high, keep it long and active. And then thinking in those, exhale, low lunge. Send it through. Maybe your heel, right heel lands first. So much control. Left and down, inhale, crescent moon. Breathe. Just take a few breaths to settle into this posture. You've got a couple examples up here you can look at. You can settle in with your hands on your thigh. Extend your arms up. And with a firm core, you can even find a subtle back bend as you set, begin to gaze up and slightly back. Really focus on the energetics of your hips, right hip back, left hip forward, and then both hips moving forward. Deep breath in. Exhale, half split. Maintain length through your torso and control through the movement. It's kind of one of the first opportunities for you to really understand from moving from point A to point B. If you didn't even consider your core, the length of your spine, or where your arms and what they did in that transition, I want you to begin to start thinking of those. Flex your toes back or your shin. Notice your right hip crease as it draws back. Your left hip forward side. Inhale. Exhale, low lunge. Activate your legs, press your hands into your mat. Inhale, three-legged dog, right leg goes up and back. And notice you took control there. Exhale, down dog. Even weight through your hands. Inhale, draw your left leg high. Feel your left quad engaged. Exhale, low lunge. Knee to nose, roll it through and set it down. Amazing. Inhale, press and move. Breathe. Begin to soften through your jaw. Soften through your eyelids. Then keep a firmness through your left thigh. Begin to notice the outer right hip and the part that it plays. Think about your arms and your core in this next transition. Inhale. Exhale, half split. Breathe. And there's no right or wrong way for your arms to move in that transition. But I just want you to begin to notice what's going on in your body, the part each plays, the role that it has in the transitions, the movements. Guide all of your left toes towards the ceiling. You're going to press your left heel into your mat. Then broaden through your chest as you draw your shoulder blades together. Inhale. Exhale, low lunge. Press through your hands. Inhale, three-legged dog. Even weight through both hands. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, gaze forward. Maybe your tiptoes come into play. Exhale, rag off top of your mat. You can just slowly, as you see, Corbin's heels are high. He's intentionally walking forward. And then settling in to the position that best suits him. I ask that you do the same. Your toes can be in. Your heels out. But just allow your weight to move towards your toes, your neck to soften, and as you breathe on each exhale, just feel and move from a place of maybe fear to trust as you begin to shift your weight into your toes. You'll notice your tailbone kind of moves up and then forward. 
Notice the impact of releasing your jaw, softening through your neck, maybe shaking your head no. And it has and plays in the part in that. Full breath in. Exhale, release your hands to your mat. Take them out wide if you can. Inhale, rag ball with the body. Raise, go out wide, melt interlace at the small of your back. I can say this three times in a class of 40, and only about half will do it. I want you to interlace your fingers first and foremost, but then press your palms together. Firmly, intentionally feel your palms together. From that space and with that agreement, begin to maybe straighten through your arms. And if you want a little more, soften through your neck, let your head hang heavy. You can send your palms forward away from the small of your back. Just continuing to find an opening through the shoulders. Breath in. Exhale, release, forward fold. If they're not already, heel toe your feet together. Chin to chest, inhale, roll forward, roll all the way up. The standing at attention. Begin to press firmly through the four corners of your feet. And to acknowledge and engage your thighs. Tuck your tailbone forward, draw your navel in and then up. And press your chin slightly in to create more space through the back of your neck. Here I just ask that you set an intention for your practice. For me, I'll offer up moving with intention, being intentional from point A to point B as you move forward. Take a deep breath in. Open mouth, exhale. Full breath in, press your fingertips together. As you exhale, let your arms go by your sides. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, mountain with a mini back bend and breathe. Really focus. There'll be a common theme throughout class that we'll revisit. Focus on your hips moving forward. It starts with your feet and then let your gaze go up and trickle back. As you begin to broaden through your chest, you've got options with your arms. Full breath in. Exhale, chair with airplane arms. Breathe. Continue to press through the four corners of your feet. Notice the activity that occurs in your thighs and your core, but draw your hands above your hips and then your pinkies just slightly towards one another. We'll revisit this. This is the third week we're working on it, and they say third time's a charm. Little to no movement through your hips. Intentionality with the movement in your arms. Your right arm will go forward first. Exhale. Inhale, chair with a vertical twist to the right. Breathe. Your left knee begin to protrude out from another. Inhale. Exhale, forward fold, send it over and down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high plank. Breathe. Your upper back broaden as it domes up and your chest moves away from your mat. Stay strong and active through your legs. You can come up to your tiptoes, your big toes. But even begin to notice your neck and your head, what's going on there. See if you can bring a little bit of engagement through your upper back, your shoulders, into your neck. Keep your elbows moving towards one another as you inhale. Exhale, lower with control all the way down to your neck. Neck, nice, strong core. Inhale, low cobra. Breathe. Press the top of your feet onto your mat. And keep your fingertips, your hands slightly on your mat, press them down, and then isometrically draw them back so your elbows are the energetics are moving back, your chest forward, and the crown of your head as well. Breath in, exhale, release. Inhale, high plank. Notice the engagement in your thighs as you come to the top. Exhale, down dog, hips high. We'll flow that inhale, gaze forward. Subtle changes, exhale, forward, full top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, press into something. Exhale, forward, full. Inhale, mountain back bends there if you'd like. Exhale, chair with the airplane arms. Here's the change. Inhale, chair with a vertical twist to the left. Breathe. Sink your hips back. 
Bring the firmness through your quads, the security through your hips. And just send your right eye just slightly more towards your left on it. Um, it doesn't have to make eye contact with it, but just notice as it moves towards there. Inhale, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high plank. There'll be a change. Inhale. Exhale, lower with control. Bring your arms by your hips. And inhale, locust pose. Breathe. Option for airplane arms, or if you're ready, you can take the bind at the small of your back. And if you take the bind, I want you to feel the heels of your palms press firmly into one another. You can actually, it's the second time with your bind, to so switch the grip to the awkward grip, and then begin to move your fists you created or your hands away from your glutes. As you draw your inner ankle bones towards one another, and you lift your heels, feel your knees move away from the mat as well as you decrease the weight in your upper abdominals on your mat. Soften your jaw, inhale. Exhale, release. You can winch a wipe your knees side to side. And just do what feels good to you. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, forward fold. You'll notice some changes here. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. You can both chairs. Inhale, mountain with the back bend. Exhale, chair with airplane arms. Inhale, twist to the right. Here's the change. Exhale, chair with airplane arms. Inhale, twist to the left. Exhale, chair with airplane arms. Inhale, mountain with the back bend. Exhale, forward fold. Breath in, halfway lift. Exhale, Chaturanga. Feel free to skip it if you're not quite ready. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Deep breath in. And let it go. Full breath in. And out. Find a soft bend through your knees here. And then begin to engage through your legs and your core over your wrists. And then you're on your tiptoes, but begin to stay strong through your core. Inhale. Exhale, down dog. Keep your knees bent, hips high. Inhale, lift the table, move forward. Feel your toes work. Exhale, down dog. Notice the bend to my knees. Inhale, roll forward. Heel over toes. Exhale, down dog. Last one, roll forward and breathe here. Stay firm. Allow your, your shins to be parallel to your mat. And as you press into your hands, take the space in between your shoulder blades, elevate it up towards the ceiling. You press to the index fingers of your thumbs. Deep breath in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Three breaths. One in. And out. Full breath in, soft jaw. Exhale, release. Last one in. Notice the space in between. Exhale. Inhale, lift your right leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Send it through with control. Right arm moves forward first. Inhale, low lunge with a twist. You breathe. Once you begin to notice your left hip, and if it's sinking down to your mat, see if you can elevate it. With your right hip, what that means is you're rolling your right hip underneath. So your right hip will move underneath towards where your left leg is. You may take some depth out of your twist, that's perfectly fine. Begin to squeeze your inner thighs together, press your right heel or foot down and energetically drop back. Inhale, exhale, press and with a vertical twist. And breathe. Commit to the lunge through your right leg, so your right knee stacks over your right ankle. Shift your right hip back, left hip forward. And then draw your right hand to shoulder head. So you'll notice from low lunge, we already took our arm up and forward. This next transition, we're gonna make a complete circle. Exhale, right arm goes down. 
Inhale, one-legged mountain. And breathe. And it's okay if you sort of stumbled on, stumbled on that one. It's our first balancing posture. Nonetheless, it's not an easy transition. Press evenly through the four corners of your right foot. Flex your left toes toward your shin. And stay strong through your core. Option to extend your left leg long. Inhale. Exhale, press in airplane arms. Just a transition. Inhale, reverse warrior. And breathe again with the arm circles. It's a backstroke with this on this side as your left arm forward. Actively commit to your front leg. You're going to press firmly through the four corners of your left foot so these, your quad activates. And we're looking for an external rotation to your left inner thigh. So just imagine beginning to point your left knee slightly up. At the same time, you're pressing firmly through your left big toe. So you don't want your arch to really lift or your left big toe to lift. You want to stay strong. Internal rotation there. External through your thigh. If it feels okay with your body, go through the inside of your right leg. Full breath in. Exhale, skandasana to the back. So you can go forward. And then send it back as you extend your front leg. Ooh. Yeah. Breathe a great option here. Reggie, I see you supporting the half skandasana right there. That's perfect. <laughs> I already know he is. He comes to my class a lot. Well, Reggie, yeah, he says what's up. But yeah, make this yours. It's just, you know, you see Corbin's way down there. You don't have to be doing that. I want you to listen to your body, especially during the flow, with what makes sense for where you're at today. Maybe tomorrow it's full skandasana. But you've got options with your arms. You can begin to bring them up, move from a place of maybe fear and instability to trust as you stay strong with your core and bring your hands to our center. Inhale. Exhale, low lunge. Plant your left hand down onto your mat. Inhale, side plank. And breathe. So again, it's something I want you to be aware of as you move through this transition, especially from when we begin to flow it. It's easy to kind of just slide your foot back, but if you can, I want you to move attention to lift up, find control, and then send it up and back. Press your left hand down, and then forward, feel your right hand move towards the ceiling. Inhale. Exhale, chaturanga. You can transition through high plank. Inhale, upper facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Left arm forward first. Inhale, low lunge with a twist. Breathe. Press through your right heel. Bring your right hip in line with your left hip. And on each exhale, just feel your right rib cage. Chase your left inner thigh. Stay strong through your legs. Inhale. Exhale. Crescent with the vertical twist. I'm pretty good words, man. <laughs> if you're like me, you, you kind of came out of that lunge. Recommit so your right knee is over your right ankle. What if you evenly disperse the weight through your front and back foot? And then it's challenging. But I think it's worth it. If you reach to your left arm a little more, feel your shoulders begin to stack over your hips. And finish the arm circle. Exhale. Inhale, one-legged mountain. Breathe. Begin to even through your hips. Notice where your ankle is. It doesn't, like, I look. You don't actually have to look. You can feel and just begin to acknowledge. Is it directly beneath my knee. What's going on with my toes? Even my fingertips. And your inhale, you can straighten your right leg. Use your right glute. Exhale, crest and airplane arms. Float it. Right arm goes forward. Inhale, reverse warrior. Breathe.
Stay firm through both feet. Your left toes, if they're kind of digging into your mat, lift them up, spread them wide. They don't need much weight at all. They're there for balance, but let them fall down on your mat lightly. Allow your left knee to continue to track towards your left pinky toe. And then your left hip, so you kind of curl under as your right hip moves back slightly, but continue to press through your right big toe mount. Inhale. Exhale, skandhasana to the back. Breathe. Again, great option here is half skandhasana. Whichever option you're in, be mindful of your back. Try not to round forward, draw your shoulder blades together. If you draw your hands to heart center, feel your elbows come towards wrist height. Shoulder blades again together, down your back, and then press your fingertips firmly into your mat. Notice the sensation, the engagement that occurs through the back of your arms, your shoulders. Soften your jaw, inhale. Exhale, low lunge. Plant your right hand firmly. Lock it in. Inhale, side plank. Breathe. Probably should have said this on the other side, but you've got options here. You can drop your right knee down onto your mat. You can stack your feet. You can scissor them. Heck, you can lift your leg, bend the leg, throw it up a little bit higher. Whatever you want. But activate your left arm. Soft jaw. Inhale. Exhale, chaturanga. Maybe you land in 90 degrees. Inhale, upward facing dog. Press through your index fingers and your thumbs. Exhale, downward facing dog. Full breath in. Let it go. Deep breath in. And out. We'll flow. Inhale, lift your right leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, low lunge with a twist. Exhale, press in with a vertical twist. Inhale, one legged mountain. You can extend your left leg. Exhale, press in airplane arms. Inhale, reverse warrior pivot and plant your left foot. Exhale, skandhasana to the back. So stay for a breath and strong core. Exhale, low lunge. Plant your left hand. Inhale, side plank. Exhale, chaturanga. The transition's yours. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, draw your left leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Breath in, twist to the left. Remember the arm circles. Exhale, crescent with vertical twist. Inhale, one legged mountain. Exhale, press it with airplane arms. Inhale, reverse warrior, right arm goes forward and back. Exhale, skandhasana to the back. Breath in, maybe your arms go up. Exhale, low lunge, right hand down. Inhale, side plank. Option for ekapada, exhale, ekapada chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. Breath in, lift your right leg high. Think knee to nose, exhale, low lunge. Inhale, twist to the right. Exhale, press it with a vertical twist, strong legs. Inhale, one legged mountain, nice arm circle. Exhale, press in airplane arms, firm core. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, skandhasana to the back. Full breath in. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, side plank. Play around here, maybe it's lifting your right leg for the first time. Exhale, chop around the throat at the pot, but keep it active if you want it. Inhale, upward facing dog. Can you find length through your lower back? Exhale, down dog. Inhale, draw your left leg high. Spread your toes wide. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, twist to the left. Nice arm circle. Exhale, crescent vertical twist. So much control. Inhale, one legged mountain. Flex your toes. Exhale, crescent airplane arms. Inhale, reverse warrior. Keep the bend through your left knee nice. Exhale, skandhasana to the back. 
Full breath in, length through your torso. Exhale, low lunge. Plant your right hand. Control. Inhale, side plank. Right hand down and forward. Exhale, chaturanga. Ekapod if you left. Nice. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. Four breaths. Deep breath in. And out. Full breath in. And out. Slow it down just a little bit. In. And out. Last one for a little bit. Breath in. And out. It's two malasana. Make it yours. Inhale, gaze forward. You can float it. Exhale, travel. To malasana. There we are. Heels in, toes out. Just begin to settle in. As you utilize your elbows and your inner thighs, press them in as you slightly tuck your tailbone forward. Imagine your tailbone being rooted and beginning to draw the crown of your head up, lengthening through your spine. Just draw your shoulder blades together a little bit. We're going to remove our elbows. I want you to keep your knees moving out. Draw your right hand inside your right leg and plant it on your mat. Inhale, left arm high. Exhale, find a half bind. So face your palm on your lower back and it faces back. So your hands on your lower back, palm faces back, come up. If you would like, you can begin to find the bind here. So what that looks like is been sending your palm towards the back wall, and then working your fingers towards one another. It's just an option. By no means you need to. Another great place to be right here is just with the twist. You're still going to work a lot. But press your right thigh into your right arm, and keep your left glute down. Full breath in. Exhale, release. Velocity. Place your left hand down on your mat. Inhale, right arm high. Face your palm towards the back wall or whatever's behind you. And then take to the back of your right hand towards the small of your back. Again, you've got options. If you've got a little bit of a, uh, if you have a sweat towel, you can place it in your right hand. And then begin to find or work towards the bind. I'll try to give you another angle here. So I face my palm back. Move it there. And then my fingers may clasp, depending on the day. Notice the weight in your left and right foot. See if you can kind of evenly spread it between both feet. Inhale. Exhale, release. Plant your hands. Inhale, crow pose. And breathe. If you're not quite ready, that's completely fine. Make this yours in high blank. We're still going to work on the core. Instead of your elbows splaying out, it becomes second nature eventually, just like breathing. Hug your elbows in, full breath in, wherever you're at, it's down and forward. Exhale, shoot back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, roll forward to high plank. And come to hero's pose. Try not to tuck your toes for this. Keep them kind of back, pressing back. From here, we'll do what we did last week with low lossiness. So begin to bring your hands directly by your knees. So they're right beneath your shoulders and keep your toes pointed back. Exhale and inhale, lift. Lift your knees away from your mat. Feel your thighs move towards your abdominal, toward your chest. Elevate your hips wide, but continue to press, press, press. Lock up through your arms as you press. Full breath in. Exhale, release, knees down. We'll take it one step further. We'll hold for a couple breaths and then extend. So I'll show you real quick. It'll be a press up. We'll hold for a little bit and then press all the way up this top. Set it back down. Bring your, I was only one up. Um, bring your hands by your knees. Press your index finger, your thumb. Soften, soften your jaw, start out strong. Exhale. Inhale, lift to the last one, and breathe. If you're still on the tops of your feet, elevate them off your mat, come to your toes. Tuck your toes under the knuckles and just press in, and then lift your hips high like corbinates. I want you to feel, if you can, almost like this nice A 
is you send your hips up in the center. Your hips will stack in the center of your hands and your feet, right in between. Soft jaw, full breath in. Exhale, release. We'll do that once more. Bring your hands down, not as long as time. Exhale. Inhale, lift for four, three, two, one. Full hips high for four, three, two, one. Set it down. Real quick, just shake out your wrists if you need them. And then begin to draw a firm core. And then just back stroke through your arms. What I want you to know, notice is if you start to open up and get kind of loose with it, stay firm. Maybe you don't get the range of motion that you have, but I want you to focus on chest staying forward. Engage your core and notice the impact that your legs have in this. And then tabletop. Inhale, cow pose, tuck your toes, think back to this last transition we did. And exhale, down facing dog. It's like a lifted table to down dog. Full breath in, bring that inner breath. Exhale, let it go. Deep breath in and out. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, travel forward, fold. Breath in, halfway lift, we add on. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain with the back bend. Exhale, chair with airplane arms. Right leg remains down. Inhale, one legged mountain. Exhale, your left piece finger to your left big toe, right hand, right hip. Full breath and lengthen through the crown of your head. Exhale, hand to big toe pose, extend. You'll notice here, some are more open than others, but understand that you're, right, we're gonna need to be with your fingers on your big toe, even if your knee is by your armpit. But utilize this, this I want you to focus on the length of your left side body rather than your left leg. And if you feel fine here, you can begin to extend your right arm long. And really press your right big toe as you lengthen through the crown of your head. Draw your left, Foot in front of you, inhale. Exhale, low lunge. Plant your hand, five jump switches. So you'll jump forward, left leg hands forward. You got four more, right leg. Left leg, you can get some hang time. Right leg and left leg, that's five. I'm not good at counting, but I'm pretty sure we're good. You're not gonna complain if there's no more. Exhale, inhale, warrior two. Just a couple of breaths. Press to your left, big toe mount. Track your left knee towards your left pinky toes. You tuck your left hip under and shift your right hip back. Again, it's pressing through your right big toe mount, drawing your right kneecap, just imagining it pointing up. Exhale. Inhale, straighten your front leg. Exhale, reach forward, and then down for triangle posture. Breathe. It feels best for you. You can shorten your stance. You keep a micro bend through your left leg. Press through your left big toe mound and then reach your left hand moving back. The crown of your head forward. Exhale. If you could say inhale, balancing half to move. Breathe. It's just an option. So you can stay in triangle or just kind of move and transition up your balance and happen. You can definitely use a block. Maybe bring one hand to your heart. But your outer right ankle bone, I want you to see if you can lift it up towards the ceiling. It's not hard posture. But again, I want you to move from a place of maybe fear and instability to trust and certainty as you shift your right hip over your left hip. Okay? Inhale. Exhale, warrior two. There's going to be a change. Inhale, reverse warrior. Here's the change. Exhale, extend it side up. You breathe all for you a new view. You can stay just as you are for a couple breaths and press your left arm into your left inner thigh. Now press your inner thigh back to your left arm. Feel the sensation change. And if you like, you can begin to send your right hand to the small of your back. You can see here, so your palm is facing down. Stay here or find a bind. 
No pressure if you don't have a client. If you're here, begin to gaze towards your left foot. It can be one hop or four. Bring your right foot up towards your left foot. Begin to lift your left heel off your mat as you exhale. Inhale. Use your breath. Inhale, birds of paradise. And breathe. That's a quite a challenging posture, but hopefully your core felt ready for it. So again, really focus on, if you're like me, my left shoulder is moving down to your mat. The press through your foot, lengthen through the crown of your head, and see if you can lengthen through your left side up. Maybe you start to point your left toe. So just breathe into it. And then slowly set your left leg down. Come back to extended side angle. Exhale. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, low lunge. Plant your hands down. Just one jump switch. Inhale, jump switch. As you exhale, press your left hand into your mat, right piece fingers, right big toe. Inhale, side plank, hand to big toe pose. And breathe. So see if you can make this. This is quite challenging, but again, remember, it starts with your left hand pressing down and forth, securing your arm into your shoulder and elevating your right hip up. Full breath in, you can release. Exhale, chaturanga. Such great control. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, forward fold. Nice. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, mountain with the back bend. Feel your hips move forward. Exhale, chair with airplane arms. Left leg down. Inhale, one legged mountain. Exhale, hand to big toe pose. Right piece fingers to your right big toe. First and foremost, before you express, begin to lengthen through your right side body. Acknowledge it starts with your foot. As you press from me down, you lengthen, and then you can begin to express. Again, I love to associate a breath with each movement, each even if you're playing around. So for me, it's an inhale, lengthen, and then to exhale as you extend and press. Awesome work. Inhale, one legged mountain. Exhale, low lunge. Plant your hands, five jumps, which is here. You can go quick. You know, I'm not watching you, so you can skip all of these. All I need you to do is to end up with your right leg forward. And when you get there, exhale, nice. Inhale, warrior two. And just a few breaths. It's been a while since I've spoken about the core. Draw your navel in and then up. With that security, begin to lengthen through the crown of your head. But as you lengthen, send your tailbone down. So you're moving in opposite directions. Exhale. Inhale, straighten your right leg. Exhale, reach forward, 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 then down for triangle posture. Breathe, press evenly to the four corners of both feet. Seal off the outer edge of your left foot. And then begin to tuck your right hip under as you shift your left leg back. You can remain as you are or gaze down as you exhale. Inhale, balancing half moon. Breathe. Again, you've got a great option to kind of find stability with your hand, a block, your water bottle, whatever it may be. And with that stability, it can really help you begin to feel your top hip begin to stack as it moves over your bottom. Find that happen in your shoulders as well. And you can bring your core into play. You can make this your own. Full breath in. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Keep the dedication through the right leg. Nice. Exhale, extended side. 
Couple breaths, settle in. Press through your left foot. Press your right arm into your right inner thigh, your thigh back to your arm. Feel that sensation change. And then as you get on the other side, you can remain here or find that half bind and maybe work towards a whole bind. Again, if you've got a sweat towel here, it's gonna really help. Find a connection with the hands as you can use a sweat towel. Stay here or gaze down into your right foot, lighten your left foot. One, two, three, four, five hops, whatever it takes, hop your left foot forward. Press through your left foot as you shift your weight. Lighten through your right heel, and then to inhale, lift up, and breathe. Try and roll your right shoulder back. Stay firm through your breath. Notice how that helps your stability. Nice and controlled. Then no rush, make your way back to extended side ankle. Just a little bit left, exhale. Inhale, reverse warrior. Find length to your side bodies. Exhale, low lunge. Just one jump switch. Inhale, jump switch, right leg forward. Exhale, left hand down, right piece fingers, right big toe. Inhale, side plank, hand big toe pose. And breathe. And stay strong with your left arm, your left shoulder. Trust yourself as you begin to extend your right leg high. You can keep it or you can let go of it. Inhale. Exhale, Chaturanga, final one. Whew. Inhale, upward facing dog. Begin to pull your chest forward. Notice the back runs. Exhale, down dog. Chin to the chest. Inhale, roll forward, high plank. And exhale, lower all the way down onto your back. Find Sphinx pose. Plant your hands firmly onto your mat. Stack your shoulders over your elbows. Stay firm through your core. Draw your inner ankle bones slightly together. Then press down into your fingertips to lengthen through the crown of your head up. Now pull your chest forward. Elbows, they won't move, but energetically they will. They'll move back as your chest moves forward, your head up. Breath in. Exhale, release. Arms by our sides, prepare for floor bow. Bend one knee and then the other. Grab the outer edges of your feet. Exhale completely. Inhale, floor bow. And breathe. So similar sensations that we had in low. So when you feel your upper abdominals move away from the mat. Your thighs lighten and lift. You kind of find this balancing point. Soften to your jaw. You know it's hard. Full breath in whenever you're ready. Exhale, release. Whew. Pick your favorite cheek. Lie down on your mat. You can bend through your knees. Windshield wiper. Your legs side to side. Whatever you need right here. And then slowly bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Press up onto your knees. Bring your knees down. You can untuck or tuck your toes. I will be here for a side view. Corbin forward. He is moving forward. Forward. Um, anyways, we'll have our fun with y'all next other later. But keep your hips over your knees. And then what I want you to focus is as we lean back eventually, I don't want your hips to go back. I want them to stay forward. So bring your hands to your lower back. Your pinkies will be towards one another. Fingertips on your glutes. Inhale, lengthen the gaze up. Exhale, supported camp. And breathe. So feel your hips as they maintain a stack over your knees. Make sure it's still easy to breathe. And then draw your elbows slightly towards one another. Feel the opening through your shoulders. Exhale. Inhale, slowly move up. And then release your arms. All right, we did this earlier, but now we're going to do it with firm thighs, hips, and core. Begin to send your right arm forward and then back, left arm forward, and then back. So I want you to just keep your hips forward, your chest forward as well, but then once you get a little bit comfortable with this back stroke, send your gaze up, let it trickle back, and then invite a back leg. Continue to swim back, hips forward, hips forward, hips forward, and then maybe you find one heel, you can tuck your toes, and then the next, camel pose. Breathe, continue to press your hips forward. Send your gaze up and back. Keep long breath, soft drop. Four, 
four more breaths. Feel free to come out of it at any point. And slowly draw your chin to your chest. You can support yourself up. Sit back on your heels. And then we'll start, when you, if you feel fine doing it, taking a child's pose, inner thighs together. They don't necessarily have to be touching, but just keep them underneath your torso. And then from here, if you're ready, we'll find a rabbit pose. So what you'll do first is grab your heels with your palms and then bring your forehead towards your knees, top of your kind of hand on your mat, and now lift your hips away from your heels. Have a nice counter. Continue to let the breath be strong. You're not as strong as physical as when you're flowing, but it's just in consistent and intentional. And slowly release. Make your way, swing your legs out in front of you. Make your way onto your, not your back quite yet. But we will continue the forward fold. So I want you to do is first and foremost is press your heels forward and feel your toes move back. Maybe it engages your calves a little bit so your heels lift. That's just activity through the legs, but you want to find an any balance and posture, three-legged dog, whatever it may be. Inhale, extend your arms high, keep your hip crease moving back, exhale, seated forward fold. And breathe. Find length to your torso, keep it active, move towards passive. Full breath in. Exhale, chin to chest, round. So notice. We were watching a documentary yesterday about Phil Moore, and one thing he said is when you move away from something, when you choose to move in the direction of something, you choose to move away from something else. And it was just visited here. We were currently, our current state was active. We chose to move towards passive, which means we left active behind. And so considering that throughout our practice and in our life, Slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time, ensure that you have plenty of space behind you on your mat, and then roll back all the way down onto your mat. Prepare for spinal figure four. Bring your right ankle over your left knee. Flex your right toes towards your shins. You can remain here and then just energetically send your right knee towards the front of your mat. We can take a little bit further and then release your hands on your left thigh, or even if you can make it happen on your left shin, just ensure that your hips, your shoulders, they remain on your mat, nice and firm, with a long spine, soft jaw. Here they are. Just a few more breaths if your head it's kind of cranked back your neck, begin to lift it and lengthen it and set it down. Full breath in. Exhale, release. You can switch sides. Slam, so bring your left ankle over your right knee. Flex your left toes towards your shin. Continue to breathe into this posture so you seek a similar sensation that you had on the other side. And as you settle in here, with an even breath, I want you to consider that there is no way to move towards something without moving away from something else. And we can choose to move from a place in our practice, from maybe chaos to calmness, from fear to trust as we invite the activation and strength and balance and posture. We can take that off of our mat and understand 
where we are and where we want to be. And if we move in that direction, we have to leave something behind. I think it's greater to think, especially in this time of almost forced stillness that the world has had us staying at home, is to consider you know, where you are, who you are, and the opportunity, the steps that you can take to move away from that and towards the direction that you want to be, the person that you want to be. Take a full breath in. Exhale, gently release. You can winch a wipe your knees if it feels nice. Again, there's no rush. This is your practice. Extend your left leg long. Inhale your right knee to your chest. Pull it outside of your right rib cage as you press through your left heel. Inhale. Exhale, supine twist. And breathe. Stack your right hip over your left hip. Soften the bend to your left elbow. Just notice or your right elbow. Notice your right shoulders become a little more rooted from that space as you imagine your right knee just getting heavier. The twist and a little more depth in the twist and the main courage you continue to breathe through it. I think you guys have already made a great choice today. You, you could have stayed in a place of comfort on your bed, but you chose to move away from that space and into a place of, of potentially discomfort, of moving discomfort in the best way possible, moving your body, moving your mind. You chose to move to a place of growth. Consistent thing that we look for, maybe find and discover on our mind, especially in this portion of class, the introspection, the self-discovery. You settle in, slowly bring your right knee to your chest, give it a nice squeeze. And then exchange it long, press your right leg long, inhale your left knee up, and if you don't have the playlist on, you can enjoy it. But yeah, find two fun twists, the nice meow, and our cat in the background. They should probably come out and do yoga, but for now, here we are. I love the support that Corbin has under his left knee. Understanding that your left knee does not necessarily have to touch the mat. I know mine doesn't. But more important than that is to secure your left shoulder onto your mat. Just begin to soften through your jaw, through your eyelids as you continue to breathe into this. Feeling your left knee just get a little bit heavier as the twist deepens. Ensure that your right leg is long outside of or extended from your hip. Just a few more breaths. Exhale, take this slowly and control. Inhale, just bring your left knee into your chest. Squeeze it. Bring your right knee to meet it. And happy baby when you're ready. Just draw your thighs outside of your torso. Keep your tailbone down on your mat. Keep the crown of your head moving back as you lengthen through the back. And then gently release your thighs to your chest. Wrap your arms around your shins. Bring your forehead to your knees as you curl up to a small breath. Take a full breath in and squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And exhale, release. Move towards a passive state of stillness. And the physical working towards the mental, dealing with our thoughts, but also noticing how our body reacts to that. If it wants to move and wiggle, just begin to find stillness as you soften through your jaw. Relax your shoulders, your thighs, let your breath flow naturally, and I'll bring you back in just a few moments.
slowly. Just beginning to graze your thumbs across your fingertips. You can bring movement to your toes and just begin to acknowledge your physical, emotional, mental state, understanding where you were. And the movement as you've gone and arrived where you're at right now. Consider the, the aspects of your practice that help you get there. And in that space, slowly begin to extend your arms over your head for a full body stretch if you're at Draw your knees toward your chest. Roll over to your right side for supported fetal position, unsupported by your practice. By your decision to continue to move towards a better place for you. You're saying that there's no way to move towards something without moving away. You chose what to move away from and what to focus on. So I asked, but moving from point A to point B, where you want to be at the end of the day, and take those small steps throughout the day. In that space, slowly press up to the tall seat position on your mat. Allow your eyes to remain heavy. Bring your hands to heart center. And just imagine all the bodies around you in the studio and the energy that comes from this final breath. Exhale all together. Full breath in. Bring in even just a little bit more. Open mouth. Exhale. As always, it would not have been the same without you. I want you to bring your thumbs to the right center. The teacher, the student, he sees, honors, and is truly inspired by the teacher, the student, and each and every one of you. Namaste. Namaste. Awesome work, you guys. I appreciate you all. Thank you for coming each week, each, each class that you take in Power Life, the Sculpt, the Bar. It's just a personal practice, whatever it is. I hope that you can continue to do it. Um, just do your part. We need you more than ever. You need yourself more than ever. And I think that this map, this space, this practice is a great way to do it. Um, we'll stay on for a little bit. Love to connect with everyone on the chats. Um, otherwise, let, let's stay in contact. I don't, I don't know how, but whether it's social media, the virtual way, it seems to be the way to do it. Lindy, thank you for making it. It's great to, to see you, to practice with you. Um, let's see here. Heck yes. All right, Reggie. Take care, Michelle. Good to see you, Abby. Mom, glad you're here again. <laughs> Week two, keeping it strong, turning mom to a yogi. Let's, let's do it. All right, guys. Well, from Corbin, Stefan, we're out. Peace out, guys.